Ghaziabad in Uttar Pradesh is said to be renamed. The word renamed and Uttar Pradesh seem to be appearing quite often in the same sentence, be it under incumbent Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath or erstwhile CM Akhilesh Yadav. Ghaziabad Municipal Corporation Mayor Sunita Dayal said that three names, Harnandi Nagar, Gajprastha and Dudeshwarnath Nagar will be sent to Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, who will take the final call. Notably, the mayor said that names have been suggested keeping in mind the demands of the people of Ghaziabad and Hindu outfits. The latest in the list is Ghaziabad, but this is not the first in Uttar Pradesh under Yogi Adityanath. In 2018, Allahabad was renamed Prayagraj, Faizabad district became Ayodhya district for reasons well known, and Mughal Sarai is now Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay Nagar. Over the years, proposals have been passed to rename various places. A proposal was passed to rename Aligarh as Harigarh. There have also been proposals to rename Agra as Agravan or Agarwal, while another suggested renaming Muzaffar Nagar to Lakshmi Nagar. Akhilesh Yadav too renamed several places during his tenure as UP Chief Minister, but the renaming under Yogi's tenure shows a worrying pattern. Look at the places that have been renamed or under consideration to be renamed. Allahabad, Faizabad, Mughal Sarai, Ghaziabad, Aligarh. Here's what the changed or suggested names look like. Prayagraj, Ayodhya District, Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay Nagar, Harnandi Nagar or Gajprastha or Dudeshwarnath Nagar and Lakshmi Nagar. In fact, Yogi Adityanath reportedly hinted at renaming Azamgarh as Aryamgarh. Clearly, there's a visible pattern of Islamic names being replaced or considered being replaced with Hindu names. Pro-BJP leaders often peddle the narrative of Hindu Rashtra, with even Maharashtra Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fatnavis calling India a Hindu Rashtra during his Ayodhya visit. Is this BJP-led UP government's blueprint to fulfil that vision? It remains to be seen. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.